In this course, you're going to be asked to identify some of the underlying allophones of the phoneme t. We've learned that sometimes we can encounter glottal stops, like in curtain, and sometimes we can encounter alveolar taps, like in the word butter. I want to talk to you about another option and how to differentiate it from other allophones. So if I were to say the word um, painted, like I painted my room, what is happening with that medial T sound, that medial T sound? Because I didn't say painted, I said painted. Well, sometimes students aren't sure what to do with this. And so um, sometimes I'll see a glottal stop um, appear in feedback requests. If we transcribe that word with a, with a glottal stop, remember the glottal stop is uh, like um, closure. It's um, tension and it results in a silence-like sound. So what we get would be painted, painted, paint id paint id okay that's not what i said so that would not be a glottal stop in in the case of when i said painted painted those don't sound the same sometimes when people aren't sure what to do with this t they'll say well maybe it's an alveolar tap well the alveolar tap is a d like sound so let's try that out and see what it sounds like painted painted he painted the living room. Well, that didn't sound like painted either. Painted. What we're going to find is that in this case, if we listen to the, the N sound, it's going to give us a clue. Painted. Painted. What we find is that the T is actually elided. Sometimes we just take out the T. We just don't bother to pronounce anything. There is no um, allophone produced, okay? It's just sort of, um, it's just taken out. And the way we can tell is that we hear the N as the onset of the vowel that follows. Painted, okay? So that's another option. If you can practice the skill of inserting different allophones to hear what it sounds like, you'll get better at recognizing um, which one it is. Let's try it out. Uh, my yoga instructor always says, straighten, straighten your legs. Did that sound like silence? Did it sound D-like? Did it sound like uh, it was alighted? Well, let's try it out. With a glottal stop, we get straighten. A common pronunciation, but not the way I, not the way he says it. Straighten. Okay, does that sound D-like? Let's try it. Straighten. Oh, it does. It does sound D-like. So I, I'm suspecting that's an alveolar tap. Let's try just for fun to try elision and see what we get. Strain. <laughs> Strain. No, if we take out the T there, we're just left with a bunch of vowels in a row. So that one won't work. These are some of the tools you can use to evaluate how something was said. And remember, none of these are necessarily the right way. Um, they're just different ways that people talk. And the goal of transcription is to match the speaker. Okay, so where I say straighten, my yoga instructor says straighten, and they're both right. But what I want you to be able to do as a future speech therapist is to detect the difference and encode it in transcription. I hope that helps.